the bookbusters, it is I, Aaron the Bookbuster. Today I introduce you to this awesome, magical, wild magical, rather, book. The Immortals, book one, Wild Magic, um, by Tamara Pierce. This book is about a girl named Dane. One, she's looking for a job after having a terrible experience, and then she found one, in with a horse mistress named Onua. There, she finds out that number one, Onua works for the Queen's Riders, a group of knights who protect Tortel, the the country that she lives in, and number two, she has wild magic. So basically, Dane's job was to help Onua to. Move horses, ponies, ponies and horses, toward towards the queen's riders, so that the so that the new young queen's riders could ride the freaking horses, and you know learn to ride, and soon they'll be full on knights, and that will be cool. Dane is an expert at at horses, and she she is very good at shooting bows too, actually. And she, Dane, that's what I mean. She is, she has wild magic. Wild magic is a kind of magic that will she can she can close her eyes and she can talk to animals and make them help her. Not make them like ask them to help her. And soon enough, she'll find out it's not just about talking to animals, but that's that. Yep. And Dane. Uh, and then goes to the Queen's Riders, and and on the way she fights immortals, monsters that comes from the divine realms, who wants to create mayhem. Some are some are okay, but some are really really bad. Like the Stormwings, they feast on the corpses after a battle, and they're filthy, despicable creatures, half half human, half half bird with. Steel, steel claws and steel feathers, and spiders, half spider, half spider, half woman or half human. Very, very disgusting to imagine, isn't it? And as I could continue on with the lists of immortals, but that's really not necessary, is it? And what's important is that Dane met the Badger God. You see, there is. There are there are gods for every every one of the of the animals, one female and one male. So this is the male badger god, and he he was has he had been told to keep an eye on Dane herself to help her and guide her and give her omens or something, and so to keep track of Dane. He he gives Dane his, one of these one of his claws, and now Dane always wears it around her her neck as a necklace. And meanwhile, she she makes friends with lots of queens riders, and then they go to they go to the Baron's like, castle, where Alana the lioness, the champion of the queen and the king, a very good knight and a pretty good pretty good mage too. Sorcerer, they go to a castle, and there, there they are attacked. And when they are attacked, bad guys—I mean, they have no flag, so they're not declaring war on us. No one knows who they are, but then they're pretty sure they're pi- they're from Karthak, an enemy country. That, that, and this might start a war. And so Dane was many others. Fought against the 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 forces of Karthak. At least we're pretty sure Karthak saved their raiders and pirates. But still, we don't believe them. I mean, come on, man. And those those ev and the and the battle began. And Dane's wild magic was a great help because you he could she could talk to the animals and ask them. To damage the bowstrings and steel arrows, and and destroy the eat the food supplies of the soldiers who was trying to attack the city, and that was very very good. And the dragon that happened to be there, 
that was that is also an immortal creature but actually good help helped Dane helped Dane because Dane helped her and uh, the dragon destroyed much of the Karthik fleet and and also Dane reached out with her with her magic and she found the Kraken the sea great sea monster and it destroyed all the Karthak barges and ships and the battle was won and um, this might have been really boring for you but if you read it it's more full of color and it's really really an awesome book and like always a book cluster Aaron the book cluster really fun book I wonder what would happen if I could talk to my pet fish <laughs>